I was not paid by any company or government to make this video. I do not condone, support or promote the regime of North Korea in any manner whatsoever. Please do your own research. North Korea. North Korea. The propaganda. Kim Jong-un, his regime, human rights, prison camps, the ballistic missile, and Otto Warmbier. It was a moment for the history books. The f I am not a journalist. I am just some kid with a consumer camera who was lucky enough to gain access into the most isolated and controlled country in the world. This video series is a product of that. I am in a serious hurry right now. I've got to go down and get the bus to the train station and then I've got to get a train. I'm not sure how long it takes, maybe eight hours to the border. It's going to be going through the North Korean countryside and then got across and uh, hopefully get out of the country with no problems. I think they do like a full search of the bags and things, so uh, wish me luck. Um, fingers crossed everything works out. If you're wondering if my hair looks a bit weird, I just got a haircut. That was in the last episode, just a short video of the haircut process. Go back and check that out if you haven't. All the videos are linked below. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go to the train station and uh, hopefully leave North Korea. Had a great time here, don't get me wrong, but um, time to leave. Alright, let's go. Okay. First question, how much do you earn? Seriously. So, arrived at the train station, got like 30 minutes until the train leaves. Put our stuff on the train, you can see there, and uh, it's really packed full of other people traveling to China. I think mainly Chinese people, like maybe business people or other tour groups. I'm not 100% sure, but hang around here for a bit, say goodbye to the guides, and then jump on the train and head to the border. So, wish us luck.
the carriages and see if I can find the uh, food cabin and see what's going on there. So I think it'll be quite interesting. I had like a pretty good sleep before. It's super comfortable beds. I was on the very top bunk. Fresh blankets and fresh uh, pillows. The most comfortable train I've ever, like sleeper train I've ever traveled in, ever. So, amazing. <laughs> So this is after going through customs and immigration on the North Korean side. This is on the start of the bridge here to cross over the river into Dangdong, China. So the customs guy hardly checked any of my belongings. He didn't look in my bag. He only had a look at a few clips that I'd got, some of the slow motion clips from the farmland. That's all he really looked at. He didn't look at any of my other SD cards. I had like seven other SD cards. It was so casual. Like it was really surprising. I think maybe because he might have known one of the guides that I was with, so he was super chill about the whole thing. Anyway, so this is the river here. You can see there's kind of the remnants of an old bridge here. This bridge was actually destroyed in the war, the Korean War, but half of it still remains on the China side of the river. Tourists can come and uh, take a look over at the land of North Korea. You can see them here sitting on the end of this bridge here. Pretty interesting being on a train coming over and seeing the tourists looking at it like, you know, this super mysterious land, which it is, but just to be able to discover it as many people will never get to do was truly a feeling that hit here, along with a liberating feeling of getting out of North Korea with no problems whatsoever. So truly a, uh, an emotional moment uh, for so many reasons. guys so I made it I am walking by myself in China it's pretty weird just being by yourself you know no one uh, telling you where you can and can't go and it's a good feeling actually it's liberating it was a uh, amazing trip but yeah to be free again is something special so yeah they just gave us a quick search they didn't actually look inside my bag he looked through my camera and just looked at a few shots, the slow motion shots I got of the farms and things, but I have seven SD cards in my bag. You know, I could have had anything on them, he didn't check them, so. Anyway, I've got 45 minutes until my train leaves to Beijing. 
This is uh, Dang Dong or Ding Dong. Dang Dong, I think. In about 45 minutes, we'll jump on the train, head to Beijing, but I'll make a conclusion video about the whole North Korea thing and wrap it up. So much to process. It's unbelievable. What I've just experienced in the last seven days has really changed a lot of opinions I have and pretty remarkable, really. It will take a long time to process because the days were so busy. We didn't really have much time to think. We were just taking everything in back to back to back. Very eye-opening and uh, very special. No internet, no connection or nothing with the outside world really adds to the experience. I mean, it's now I think about it, you know, it's, it's kind of, it'll take a while to hit me, but it was something that's, yeah, what an experience. Unreal. Anyway, let's go and get on the train. We got lots of talking time later, anyway. <laughs> got myself some snacks for the train. Alright guys, so made it on the train. I've got the middle bunk here. Check it out. Hello. Hello. Thank you. All right, guys. So the clips you just saw, that was me arriving back in Europe and Hungary. Uh, but now I'm actually in another Asian city. I can see a skyline in front of me, but that's in a coming video. You'll have to wait for that. Anyway, North Korea. What an incredible trip. I'm going to be making two more videos about North Korea. One about how much the whole thing costs and the prices once you're actually in the country. And then another video, I'm going to make a Q&A so you guys can ask any questions about North Korea and I can get into more depth. Take taking in mind what you guys actually want to see. I'll let you know how you can ask those questions, but first I just want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. If you know my channel, you've been following it for a while, you know that Skillshare has sponsored a few of my other videos, and I always say that it's a really good match because this way I feel like I'm offering you guys, the viewers, something. Basically Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes. You can learn anything to do with like creativity, filming, editing you can learn languages you can even learn about business but today I'm going to be promoting their editing classes I get a lot of questions about my editing a lot of the editing techniques that I use in my videos you can learn them on Skillshare and today Skillshare and I are offering the first 500 people that click the link below a free two-month membership to their premium access so you can learn anything you want as I've said I think Skillshare is uh, such a great partner it's all about kind of bettering yourself and and becoming like a stronger version of yourself. So definitely something I can stand by. So a huge thanks to Skillshare. Check out that link below if you want to. As I was saying, the Q&A, basically you can ask anything about North Korea and I will pick out the ones that I think offer you guys the most. I'm sure I'll get a lot of the same questions, but I will pick out the most interesting ones from my perspective. So if you guys want to ask any questions, head over to my Instagram at indigo.traveler with two L's on the traveler. Uh, it's linked below anyway. Drop your questions under this photo and I will pick out some of the best questions underneath that post there. All right guys, I'm not gonna to talk too much about North Korea because there's so much more to talk about in the Q&A and in the how expensive video, so stay tuned for those. Uh, yeah, North Korea, what a remarkable trip. Something I'll never forget. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and thank you again so much for watching. Okay.